and uh, I've got for the theatre here, uh, it's, it's an MIT failure, it's kind of a few faults. I'll show you what it is first. Stop lamp not working, registration plant not working. Uh, but what we're doing is we're just going to change the brake light bulb for the minute. So this is off side, which is the driver's side, and this is near side, which is the passenger side. Um, what we're doing is we're going to check and make sure we're doing the right bulb. Then we'll press the brakes. As you can see, only the near side is working, but the driver's side isn't. So to open the boot on this, there's a button here just by the steering wheel. Um, you'd see here, that's the button. You, you press that, shut the door, you open the boot. Now behind the boot, so obviously you've got one screw here, one screw here, it's a T20 Torx bit. So you undo these two first. Once you have undone this, on the back here, you've got, an, uh, you've got this black uh, plastic screw thing. So all you do is you undo that. As you would see, this is it. So we're undoing that. That's out. So once we've done that, we get a T20, which is that size there, Torx bit. You undo the Torx. So do the same thing on the top as well. Once you've undone both of them, Take the screws out, put them somewhere safe, and then you pull the top bit out first, because there's a lug behind that, so you'd hear it, now the whole thing's come out. So you do, there's a clip here, you unclip it. Once you've unclipped it, you've got these little clips here as well. So you gently pull the clips back. So you start from the bottom first. got to be very gentle with it. Right, I'll do that from the top first then. It's a bit of a nightmare, these ones are. There we go, we've got the whole thing out. Now you've got, this is the brake light bulb, which is a double filament. Now whoever's put a bulb in there, they put the bulb in wrong. So these pins here, uh, it should be, one should be down a little bit than the other. It, they're not parallel to each other. So get that one out. And this one here, that's a single filament. Someone's put a double filament in there. So as you could see the two little uh, metal clips there. So that's the, that's the double filament. And that's a single filament. So one would be a 380. And the other one would be uh, a 382. Right, as you see now, that's a 380 there. So we, it's, a, it's a single filament bulb. We take the single filament bulb out of the box. We put that in there like that so done then the 380 is the double filament so we get that out and we screw it in it can only go one way so we just got to make sure we put it the right way that's it Let's go. Right, we've done that now so what we do we put it back together make sure it goes in properly so it clips in from the bottom here here we go, clips in from this end. So it is plastic, so they are quite, quite fragile as well, so they do break. So make sure you put it in properly. Once you've done that, just before we put everything on, I'm gonna check it, make sure it's working first, and then put everything back together. So we press the brakes. You see the brakes are working now. So that's all you need to do as well. Put it back together, make sure there's not in the holes. So it clips in from the top and then you screw this back in. And that's it, job done. That's, for, that's your uh, brake light bulb. Now with the number plate bulb, all you do is you've got these little little screws there. So you need a Phillips screwdriver. Undo it with a Phillips screwdriver and it's a capsule bulb. And that's what you need for the number plate as well. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Goodbye.